Welcome back everyone, Patrick here. Moving on to the next video, still dealing with quadratics. So we're told the cross section of a tunnel in meters is given by these two formulas here. So we're gonna have two different scenarios and we have to find how wide the tunnel is using the quadratic formula. And we also have to find the height of it. So we've gone through questions like this before where we're dealing with these two different scenarios that will come up usually for the cross section of a tunnel. It's just now we're gonna be using the quadratic formula, a little bit more practice in order to find the width of the tunnel. So just as a quick review, remember the two different scenarios usually for this kind of question is the cross section of a tunnel can be like this, right? Where this maximum point is gonna lie on the y-axis, or in this case, it's gonna be the h-axis. So that's gonna be for part A. And also notice in part A, we have y equals ax squared plus c, right? It's in that format where there's no bx term. And whenever you have something like this, for the cross section of a tunnel, it's gonna look like that, right? Where x represents the horizontal distance from the center. So if we go one meter, if an x value one, that means it's one meter from the center of the tunnel like that. So that's gonna be the part A scenario. And then the part B scenario is notice that this, it's in the format y equals ax squared plus bx, where in this case, there's no c value. And whenever you have something like that, we know one of the intercepts is going to be zero because we could factor out an x and so the tunnel would look like that, where x represents the horizontal distance from one end. So if we have an x value of one here, it's gonna represent one meter, a horizontal distance of one meter from this end of the tunnel. So that's how it's gonna look like in part B. And again, we're gonna get into more specifics in finding the width and the height in each of those scenarios. So I'm going to erase part B for now. I'll bring that back after. And notice that we have here this equation h equals negative 0 0.0062 x squared plus 19.5. Now, if you remember just in general, whenever we have ax squared uh, plus c, what's the vertex of this kind of quadratic always gonna be? Well, it's gonna be zero and then the c value. Zero and x value is zero is always gonna be that axis of symmetry. It's gonna be the middle. So if we graph this out, notice that we can actually get the height of the tunnel right away because we have the C value, right? The vertex of this quadratic here is gonna be at zero and 19.5. We also know this quadratic is gonna be opening down because of the negative A value here. So the height we already have, we can get it directly from the equation in this case. In part B, we're not gonna be able to directly get it, but in this case we are. And now we just have to find the width. How do we find the width? Well, we gotta find these intercepts here, these x-intercepts. And then once we find them, the distance between them is going to be the width of the tunnel. So how do we do that? Well, we plug in zero for h right, because both of these points are gonna have a height of zero. They're gonna be on the road or on the ground. So we'll have zero equals negative point zero zero six two x squared plus 19.5. All right, so if we plug this into the quadratic formula, remember what is the quadratic formula? It's this right here. We're gonna be solving this quadratic equation now. Um, notice that the a value in this case is negative 0 0.0062. Notice the b value is zero and then the c value is 19.5. So plugging those in here, we'll have zero, right? This, is, this part's gonna be zero because the b value is zero, plus or minus uh, zero squared minus four times the a value negative 0 0.0062 times the c value of 19.5 all over two times that a value negative 0 0.0062, all 
like that. So we're going to be working with a lot of decimals in this case. And when you do all of the algebra, it's all listed here. And so notice under the square root, you'd end up with 0.483. And then this zero here goes away. So you end up with plus or minus that value. And then two times negative 0 0.0062 in the denominator ends up being that. The square root of that is going to be this. And then notice there's going to be two solutions, plus or minus 56.05. And whenever you have a quadratic in this format, if there are x-intercepts, it's always going to be plus or minus, right? Because the axis of symmetry is going to be in the middle. So the two intercepts are going to be negative 56.05, positive 56.05, like that. And then from here, we can find out what is the width going to be. We could find that out because we can just see what the distance between these is going to be. And it's basically going to be 56.05 times 2 because this distance is 56.05, this distance is 56.05. So we'll have 2 times 56.05 which would give us what? 112.1 meters. So that would end up being the width of this bridge in part A. Now moving on to part B, so we have that other scenario now, and notice that this here, it's in that format, y equals ax squared plus bx, so notice that there's not gonna be any c term here. And then we know that this kind of quadratic here, it's always gonna have an x-intercept of zero right? Because notice that we could take out an x all the time here. So we'll have ax plus b. We could take out an x from these two. So when we draw this out, basically the way it's going to look like is like this right there. And so we know that one of the intercepts is zero. We're going to have to find the other intercept to find the width of this bridge. Again, we're going to be doing it with the quadratic formula and then we're also going to have to find this height here now before the height we were able to get directly because we had that c value in this case we won't be able to do that we're going to have to do a little bit more work we're going to have to get the intercepts then we're going to have to find the midpoint between the intercepts which is going to be the x value of the vertex and then we could take that x value of the vertex plug it in here to get the h value of the vertex and that's going to give us the height of the bridge so to find these intercepts, well, one of them we already know is going to be zero, but to find the other one, let's throw this into the quadratic formula. So again, x equals negative b plus or minus b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Now in this particular case, notice that the a value is negative 0 0.0223. Notice the b value is 1.39. And then notice that the c value is zero like that. And so what's going to happen is we'll have plugging all of this in negative 1.39 plus or minus 1.39 squared minus 4 times the a value of negative 0 0.0223 but then we have multiplying the c value of zero. It's actually going to make this whole term go to zero. Then we'll have 2 times negative 0 0.0223 like that. And then doing all of the algebra here with all the decimals. So notice that this part is going to go to zero as we have here. 1.39 to the power of 2 is approximately 1.9321. But then when we square root it, right, we end up with the 1.39 again, right? Because it's like the square root of 1.39 squared. Well, that's just going to give us 1.39. And that's where that zero is going to come from because one of the numerators here is going to be zero. We're going to take negative 1.39 and then add 1.39 again. Okay, so that's where that zero is coming from. That's always going to happen when you have a c value of zero because this square root portion, you're just going to end up with the b value again right here. And then the denominator this whole time, 2 times a is negative 0.0446. And so from there, if we write out the two solutions over here. So we either have x equals negative 1.39 minus 1.39 over negative 0 0.0446, or we'll have negative 1.39 plus 1.39 
over negative 0 0.0446. And so we end up with zero over here. And then over here, we'll end up with 62.33. Zero, we were already expecting, but now we got this other point here, which is gonna be 62.33, like that. So we got that, which is nice. Uh, so we know actually from here how wide is the bridge. Well, it's just this minus that, right? It's the distance between the intercepts, like in the previous case. But one of the intercepts in this case is, um, is zero. So it's really easy. You just take this minus zero, and then you get that width. Now to get the axis here, what you would do is you would add the intercepts divided by two. So we could just take this and divide it by two since one of the intercepts is zero. So we'd end up with 31.165. So that's going to be the x value of this vertex right here. And then if you want to get the height, you just take this value, this x value, and plug it into the equation to get the height. And that's going to give us the height of the bridge, right, which is going to be the h value of the vertex. So 31.165, that's going to be squared plus 1.39 times 31.165, like that. And then when you do all of that algebra, you end up getting all these values, and then the final height is 21.66 meters. So that's going to be the h value of the vertex, which represents the height of the bridge. So we got the width over here, the difference or the distance between the intercepts. And then we have the height of the bridge, which is going to be the max height, which is the um, h value of the vertex.